Welcome to Tiki Talk, the podcast, with your host, Kevin, a.k.a. Shipnut, and your co-host, Noah. Thanks for watching, and don't forget to subscribe, like, and share. Are you ready? Let's go. Hey, hey, welcome to Tiki Talk, the podcast. Good morning, Noah. I know you have worked all night. How are you oh, today? Yeah. Uh, mm -hmm. waking up. Caffeine helps. Uh -huh. oh. Yeah, that caffeine with that Aroma Ridge coffee roasters, delicious Onlyville, New York hot system wiener. Mm -hmm. <laughs> wait, wait, whoa, what, what? Yes. A lot of, well, a lot I, of just, words there. I just got back from vacation, as you know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I was in the littlest state in the country. I was in Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Rhode Island. Yes. I was in Rhode Island. Can you believe that? Yes. Yeah. 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 You're from you're from up there. I'm up down from there, up somewhere. there in that in that realm of so, yeah, you yeah. Know, Rhode Island, and uh, you know they have these things called wieners, and um, and they're delicious. So, and, uh, <laughs> I, that's all I gotta say. They're gaggers. Oh, I, it's a hot yeah. dog. It's like you can't call it a hot dog. It's smaller than a hot dog, it's, but it's okay. Oh, oh, that's okay. But it's unlike any hot dog that you would ever eat. Okay, mm -hmm. and it's got a meat sauce with certain spices in it i don't know what's in it and i've never asked but it's got spices in the meat it's like real fine chopped up meat so oh. it, yeah and then it's got diced onions on top real finely diced onions with mm. mustard and celery salt and it's the best thing you ever put in your pie hole i'm telling you you gotta try them so delicious delicious it's, it's a tiny meaty wiener a tiny meaty wiener, yes. That you put into your lowest hole in your face. Yes, that's the one. And it's very messy, it sounds like. Well, I mean, if your pie hole is big enough, you can just whoop, the whole thing, you know. <laughs> oh. So, yeah, yeah, so, oh. yeah, 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 yeah. So, if, if it's big enough, you can do the whole thing in there, one swoop, one swoop. Well, not the whole thing, but a nice bite, you know what I mean? So, yeah. Oh, yeah. But what a... Dude, what a night. Have you traveled lately? Like, by air? By air, no. I, I'm terrified of flying. The last time I traveled, I drove. Really? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Can't stand flying. Can't do it. Hate it. Really? A lot of reasons. Oh, yeah. Why? Absolutely. So, one, I just don't like flying in general. It's big, big time scary. Uh, then you're put into a sausage tube with 200 other people that you know, are just coughing and sneezing the yeah. same old stale air yeah. uh, all over you. And uh, uh, there's always delays. There's, a, you know, TSA likes to pull me aside because they're like, excuse me, sir, you're not the right complexion. We must inspect your uh, anal cavity. And uh, <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, it is, it is, it is. But, you know, it's I don't think the airlines are are. They're not reliable anymore. The airlines are no. not reliable anymore. No. They haven't been for a long time, I think. You know what I mean? That's why, it's, I, I, that's why I drive. It, it's crazy that the airlines are not reliable anymore. And live visibility. Hold on. TikTok has given us a little. Oh, TikTok. It's crazy. It's stupid. I have I just appealed. It's not. Mm -hmm. It's. I mean, this, uh, TikTok is so dumb. Uh, I didn't appear on the screen, so because I minimized it, mm -hmm. now it's saying that the live is restricted because I minimized the screen because they weren't predominant on my screen. Well, you know, I got about 25 links open on this screen to do the podcast, so guess what? I mean, you know, there you go. I, I got to pick and choose, but whatever. It's on there now. Whatever. We'll see what happens. Anyway, yeah. yeah, the airlines are just just not reliable anymore. It's just, it's crazy how it is. Like, I was supposed to fly out 
Friday evening mm. from Tampa to okay. Providence, okay, on Breeze Airline. And I'm going to call them out because I don't care, you know, mm-hmm. on Breeze Airline. And I get it. There's delays, stuff like that. I was supposed to fly out at 7 p.m. Okay. We didn't get on the plane until 10.30 p.m. Wow. Yes. Three hours. Then we got on the plane. Mm Mm-hmm. Went out to the runway. Sat there for an hour and 45 minutes. And the pilot came on and said, hey, we got to go back to the gate because we're having, you know, there's some central lights on that we don't like. So we're going to go back to the gate and have the mechanics look at it. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Well, I get it. I'm I'm all right with that. And then the mechanics come on. That took another hour at the gate. Mm -hmm. (laughs) Then we go back out to the runway and sat there for another 45 minutes. And the pilot's like, well, this flight's not going to go off tonight because the central lights are still on and everyone has gone home for the evening. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So, we went, so we went back to the gate. Mm-hmm. So I go to the gate agent because I'm like, okay, what's my options? They're like, no, you don't talk to anyone here. You got to contact Breeze through the app. There's no one to talk to at Breeze. The app? Yeah, you got to use the app to contact oh. Breeze because there's no representatives at the airport for Breeze. It's everything's done through the app. Which is nice. which is shitty. Yeah. I mean, that's what you get for going with a you know, cut rate airline anyway. I I I think. Anyway, so so I get back to my house at 2:30 in the morning. Okay? Mhm. 2:30 3 a.m. I'm back at my house. No flight. Now mm-hmm. uh, it's like I can't go. You know what I mean? Right. Mm-hmm. So I get online. I'm looking for another flight. I'm like, okay. So I found a flight from Punta Gorda to Providence, mm-hmm. which I had to pay for now. And I had to get my, I'm still waiting for my refund from Breeze Airlines, which mm-hmm. they haven't refunded me yet. Still? Still have not refunded me, and it's been a week. Oh. Um, so I will be on the phone with them after we get off the podcast. Um, mm-hmm. But, yeah, what a what a shit show. So I flew Allegiant up there. Mm-hmm. Um, so I flew Allegiant up there, and it's all good. I got up there, I got back, and here I am back now in... Yeah. In Florida, doing our <laughs> podcast. Can you believe that? But I mean, this happened to me before. Last time mm-hmm. I flew, I was like, I remember. I spent the night in Atlanta Airport because mm-hmm. Delta sucks too. But there's got to be some sort of accountability for these airlines because they just they think they can do whatever they want to you. Mm-hmm. There's no recourse for them. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah, 100%. So what if I didn't live local and I was flying from Tampa to get home and I didn't have a hotel? Breeze didn't offer any hotel, any vouchers, nothing. Just an app. Just an app. Just Just an app. app. Hey, use our our app. Yeah, you you can't call anyone. You just got the app. That's it. Just the app. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Insane. I mean, technically, you, you, you aren't even a local to Tampa. You still, you were, you live an hour and 15 minutes south. away. Yeah. You live several counties south from Tampa. Yes. From uh, uh, Hillsborough County. Absolutely. So it's, it's, it's way, you know, it's way out there. Yeah. It's... Even me, I, I'm several counties north yeah. of Hillsborough and I'd still, and I would be just as mad. Yep. Um, exactly. You know, it'd it's... be like if you went to Miami or Fort Lauderdale to go and fly up there. And you're stuck on the other side of the state. Right. You know? Yeah, I'm telling you. That's that's even further. But it just makes you not want to fly anymore. You know, these airlines want to charge top dollar. You know what I mean? Right. Right. And, and I went on a budget airline because, you know, I ain't got that kind of cash. So, you know, Tiki Talk doesn't pay me that any money. 
Mm-hmm. Wink, wink. <laughs> Come on, guys, give some donations. Yeah. Anyway, let's, let's get some donations. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Anyway, subscribe, please. Like and share. Like and subscribe. Anyway, um, Aroma Ridge. Yeah. So uh, <laughs> yeah, buy coffee, please. It's delicious coffee, by the way. You'll love it. Anyway, mm-hmm. um, but it makes you not want to fly. I, I just yeah. You know, I had I had very legitimate reasons to go to Rhode Island. Mm-hmm. You know, it wasn't just a vacation. I had other things I had to accomplish Yeah, while I was up there, you know. But the airline, they don't care. The airlines don't mm-hmm. give a crap what you're doing. They don't care. Right. They're, they're just no. like, ah, eh, it's 2 o'clock in the morning. Yeah, we're going to cancel your flight. And we're not going to give you any options on what to do next. You know? Right, it's just terrible. So, you know, even a lot of these other companies, even during overnight hours, hire some team in India to answer your calls and be like, "Hey, we can do this for you." Yeah, no, 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 no. no, no. <laughs> and then Allegiant, all right, Allegiant mm-hmm. Airlines. This is why I don't like airlines. We're, we're on the plane in Providence, right? Mm-hmm. We're, we're loading up. The gate agent comes on the plane. And starts yelling at this guy because of his hat. Oh. That's offensive. People are complaining. You need to take that hat off or get removed from the plane. And I'm sitting like two rows behind him on the side, you know, Mm -hmm. on the other side. And I'm like, this dude came in with his family, sat down, has his earphones on, hasn't said a word to anyone, Mm -hmm. minding his own business. I said, stop harassing the guy. He's not, and and his hat was not offensive at all. It was. I was about to ask if it had a it big was, old it was, on it or something. It was <laughs> not offensive at all. It, it wasn't. It was the dumbest thing ever. But I'm like, you're harassing him. Mm-hmm. I mean, he's like, whatever, lady. He took the hat off, but mm-hmm. she's harassing him. I'm like, stop harassing the guy. He hasn't said two words to anybody. He's sitting there minding his own business. Maybe you're right. the one that was offended by his hat. Maybe. But I mean it's I, a it's hat. Just, it's yeah, a to be hat. At somebody like that. You know, if it really was something offensive, she could have been like, Hey, listen, uh, we've been getting a lot of complaints, you know. It's a, between her and him. Oh, she right? was yelling at him. Yelling. But but just straight up shout it. That's yep. just, that's not respectful. And all the passengers yeah. around him like, dude, what the fuck was that? That was mm-hmm. ridiculous. You know? So and, what, what was on his hat? We got to know. It was a mm-hmm. saying. It was a saying. And I, you know, oh, it was a phrase? It was a phrase. Okay. But it was spelt differently than the actual words. Okay. But it wasn't offensive. You know what I mean? Yeah. But then she came back on the plane again. And I'm looking at the lady next to me, and she's like, the lady next to me is like, oh, is she back to harass this poor guy again? (laughs) Nice. But it's like, leave the damn guy alone. You know, he's minding his business. He's just chilling out. Just just leave him alone, please. Just leave him alone. Oh, yeah. You know? I can see if he was causing a ruckus or something. You know, you want to kick him off the plane? Okay. But yeah. He came in, he sat down, didn't say a word to anybody. That's just crazy. Because you were offended by Mm -hmm. what was on his hat. Get out of town. Stop. His hat is not hurting you. This is this all of the stuff you explained is is all the other reasons besides the fact that I'm afraid of flying. Uh, yes. is all the other reasons why I don't fly, you know, I, and I did the math. I, I think I told you this um, the last time I went on vacation, you and me, uh, we actually talked a little bit about it on the podcast where I went to go see my mother-in-law in Missouri. Yeah. And, I, and we did the math and it was cheaper for us, way cheaper even uh, to, to get a rental car, get hotels, buy food and buy gas to get to Missouri and back uh, than to fly to Missouri for the two of us right that's just insane in the membrane you know what i mean yeah right it's it's so i i even though i i treat it as like a journey right it's like oh yeah look we're seeing that that there's the rock there's the smoky mountains you know and it gets and you know we make it a little fun and everything like that but to to make up for the for the missing time but at the same time it's like it's it to me it's just not worth it i mean 
I don't mind a road trip. I like road trips. I really do. But I got to really set the time for the road trip. You know what I mean? You it's do. like you I really, really got to set the time for the road trip. So mm-hmm. it's it's one of those things. You know what I mean? Yeah. Sure. So. Absolutely. But trip's over. I'm here. Had a good time. We did a lot of New Englandy things. We were in Lobster Land. Lobster Land. We were in Lobster Land. I know I sent you a picture. The, oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. We had and lobster nice mac and cheese. Mm. Of course. Yeah. A New Englander favorite. Yes. <laughs> lobster. We had plenty of lobster. We had a good time. It was a really good time. So I'm glad we went. Glad I had a good time. Hold on. I got to fix my microphone stand again. Ah, it's falling down. Got to get a new one. Anyway. <laughs> So, how about those Olympics? Oh, man. How uh, there about was, those Olympics? We we talked about it uh, a little bit on our last show with Mr. Jason Brady, friend of the show. Yes. Uh, and his brother, Stephen Brady. Yes. Uh, but, man, so much happened that was just... <laughs> yep. <laughs> in the, uh-huh. in, over the course of the whole thing, right? And... Uh, I was I you and me were waiting for it. We were waiting for the breakdance. Oh and it yeah, finally happened toward the end. Now and dear God, listen, <laughs> wait a minute. The breakdancing, it's not coming back. You know, they're done with it. They they're, said they're it. not no, doing it anymore. They're not doing it anymore. <laughs> now, were most of them talented? Yes, absolutely. Yeah, I couldn't oh, yeah, do that. Mm-hmm. But mm-hmm. when. The whitest girl in the world from Australia comes out in her <laughs> tracksuit mm-hmm, mm-hmm. and starts doing the sprinkler. You know there's something wrong. Yeah, oh yeah. Yeah. Are you kidding me? Just yeah. ridiculous. That was the worst thing ever. Um, the, I mean, it's a meme everywhere. It, it is a meme mm-hmm. everywhere. You know, you can see. Yeah. Here, here, I'm going to show you. There, there she is, Reagan, the Australian break dancer. You know, there's a lot of controversy going on with her. Um, that her and her husband were mm-hmm. the commissioners for break dancing. Really? Yes. Yes. Her and her husband. Don't mind my dogs. Just got a delivery. There's a person at my front door. So, yeah, her her and her husband were the ones that were the, you know, ambassadors to the break dancing or in charge of the people that were going to be in breaking mm-hmm. for Australia. And she is under a lot of heat. Mm-hmm. Because she put on her own qualifier. Oh, did she? Where she was the only one there. So, of course, she's going to win the qualifier because yeah. her little kangaroo dance. <laughs> you, you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Her little kangaroo dance did, uh, did not do wonders for her Olympic gold. She didn't even get one point. No, I don't think she did. She didn't even get one point. That's just bananas. I mean, the break dancing, the guys brought it one of the girls. Mm-hmm. But some of the girls, I'm telling you, because I watched it, because I was if, if, truly intrigued on the break dancing. I really was. Yeah. I, I had to see it, you know. Even yeah, though I didn't. Of course. It's not an Olympic sport. It never should have been. It, it, yes, is it a dance competition? Yes, mm-hmm. Olympic sport? No, no, probably not. But talent? Yeah, they had some talent. Yeah. Oh yeah, one hundred percent. The know. the there were a few that were very good, like the um, uh, just talking about exclusively the the female competition was um, the 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 lady from the U.S. She was amazing. Uh, I mean, but that that figures because they they considered it an an, an American original. Uh, sport. Um, yeah, and then the the lady from France was also pretty good too. Yeah, she was really um, good. She was there was a, there was a few of them that were really good. Mm-hmm. 
You yeah. Know, um, the guys, I only saw one night of the guys because I didn't see every night. I saw one. But, man, right. they were bringing it, too, you know? Yeah, oh, yeah, for sure. But this, oh, Reagan from Australia, that was so funny to watch because <laughs> she was not bringing it, for sure. Yeah, it she looked like not. she was spasming on the stage. Oh, um, I mean, I'm not even going to play a video because yeah, it's, it's, there's so many memes out there now with her actual y'all dance. Y'all can look it up. Oh, you can all. Y'all can look it up. You can I'm gonna all tell you right now. look it up. Yep, for it sure. Is, it is terrible. <laughs> Yeah. It is just terrible. When you're doing the sprinkler. I mean, really? And it yeah. looked like she was, she was have it did. It looked like she was having a seizure on the dance floor. Mm-hmm. I mean, that is not, she was, it looked like a Saturday Night Live skit on breakdancing. Yeah, it really did. Didn't it? It looked like a <laughs> I, Saturday Night Live <laughs> skit on breakdancing. I half expected Keenan to come out of nowhere. He'd be like, "Ah, oh, that's how you do the break dancing. <laughs> <laughs> right? Break right on. Yeah, it right. was. It, I thought, I mean, yeah. Yeah, talent. Yeah, they did, they definitely had talent, but mm-hmm. I would not call that a Olympic sport. Nope. No. Nope. Me neither. But it won't be back. It will not be back in Los Angeles. Los Angeles. No. And then, and and then you got another highlight from the Olympics. Mm-hmm. This was truly the highlight. Yeah, what, the what was the it? French pole vaulter. Oh, junk boy! Yeah, junk boy, <laughs> junk boy, <laughs> junk boy, and ding nice. dong man. Mm-hmm. Yes, yeah, you know, you've all seen it. This guy, whose junk, you know, took the pole down while he was. Pole vault Caused thing. him to lose gold or lose a chance at gold. Yeah, because his ding dong just... hit the pole. I mean, imagine oh. that. My ding dong was too big, hit the pole, <laughs> and I lost my gold medal because <laughs> you know my junk got hung hung up on the pole. I mean, but the good thing is, yeah, a company, Cam Soda, which is an adult entertainment company. Oh. Has offered him two hundred and fifty thousand dollars for a sixty-minute cam show of his pole vault. If you know what I'm that's saying, more, that's more than what people get paid in a year, right? That's fantastic. I mean, <laughs> yeah, two hundred fifty grand oh, man. for an hour of his pole vault. <laughs> Of him pole vaulting his pole vault, yeah. I mean, sign me up. Nice. I'm there. <laughs> I, be set for a whole year. I'll let my dingaling I mean, swing on camera. Well, it won't be swinging, <laughs> but you know, I'll let my little girl play poke out for two hundred fifty grand for an hour. Whatever. Poke out the bush. Yeah, whatever. Mm-hmm. I'll even shave for that. I mean, whatever. <laughs> so it looks bigger. There you go. I mean, that's a good exchange. That's, you know what that I mean? is a good. That's pretty good. I, th- th- did he take him up on it? Oh, I don't know. Let me see. Uh, let's see. Could you pay? <laughs> Some of the comments on here. Not the worst thing losing a gold medal because you're packing a French baguette. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Another one wrote, uh, lost the pole vault, won the schlong jump. Yeah, there you go. You know. Schlong jump. I, it doesn't say it doesn't it doesn't too good. Uh, no, it doesn't say if he took the. You know. That's it. I mean, yeah, he didn't. He hasn't committed to it yet. But that is a very tempting proposal. I mean, I'm they're trying it. because they're like, mm-hmm. hey, you didn't bring home the the gold medal. You know. But. But you still capture gold from your fans at Cam Soda. That's just a sales yeah. pitch, and yeah. you, and you won't have those restrictive compression shorts holding you back. This, you'll this, you'll this, feel free yeah. to show the world why you have your own Olympic competition next time around. That's right. That's right. I mean, That's right. Oh my God. Yeah, he didn't. I I don't see <laughs> if he took it. I'm reading the article and it doesn't say <laughs> if if he took it or not. I can't see it. Did you read it? Uh, no. Yeah. 
Uh, not not that far down. Yeah. No, it doesn't say if he took it or not. So the world will never know if he's going to be on Cam Soda or not. But I bet you mm-hmm. can check it out and just say Olympic pole vaulters French baguette. You know what I mean? Yeah, maybe. Maybe, maybe he's up. Maybe he's up on Cam Soda already. He might be. Probably you, you never know. Watching out there. You never know if he's up on Cam Soda yet. I mean, mm-hmm. check it out. He might be <laughs> yeah. up there. Comment, comment if you actually go. And yeah, look. please comment if you go on Cam Soda. You know, and I'm, find this, this is going to be on replay on Facebook, uh, YouTube, Spotify. It's going to be everywhere. So please comment if you find him on cam soda i'll be looking myself have fun with that for science you gotta do it for oh science. for, for yeah, for yeah for science for science oh well, yeah not yeah, because that's... i want to see a french well, baguette i mean come on yeah, i don't want i don't i, I didn't want to see that yeah. i didn't want to see that that's... no no i don't want to see a french baguette i got my own little dinner roll i don't need a french baguette <laughs> you know just saying uh speaking of dinner rolls did you, oh, yes. did you see Chili's? Uh, 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 yeah. They, they're doing they're doing some strange stuff to their menu. They introduced like chicken chicken fingers and stuff like that now. Yep. And... Chili's takes on the Big Mac. No. Oh yeah, baby. Chili's is taking what? on the Big Mac. The Big yep. Mac. Well, well, because they figure. You're paying ten ninety nine for a Big Mac meal at McDonald's. Mm. You can get a nine ninety nine burger at Chili's with fries. Sit down; it's served to you for nine ninety nine instead of ten ninety nine for a McDonald's menu. Mm-hmm. That's just crazy. I'd rather have I mean, a burger at McDonald uh, at at Chili's. At Chili's, yeah, it's it's much better. You yeah. know. Yep. Oh you get yeah, sit down quality. Yep, you know what I mean. That's yep, 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 yep. The, the big, big so that's, the big smasher is what they're calling it. The big smasher. The big smasher. Now it doesn't have two patties like the Big Mac, only one. Mm-hmm. But it's a half pound patty, which is even bigger than Big Mac. Well, yeah, yeah. Big Mac has like a little sliver of beef in there yeah i think i think uh not even quarter pound yeah i don't even th- i think the whole burger is a quarter pound yeah mm-hmm. that's mm-hmm. yep and it has pickles thousand island dressing mm-hmm. cheese onions lettuce i mean no sesame Take seed bun McDonald's. but that's okay that's okay I, That's crazy. I'm gonna have to try it. I mean, look at it. Look at it. Ooh, that looks. That does look good. I mean, I'd eat that. I, I would. I would. I would devour that. Yeah. I'd smush it all over yeah. my face and call myself daddy. Absolutely. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Well, they figured. Yeah, you know, like I said, they figured that. Uh, McDonald's is charging eleven dollars for a Big Mac meal, which is ridiculous, right, right there. Mm-hmm. Smart, smart advertising for Chili's, and Applebee's is doing something similar too. Really? Yep, Applebee's is doing something similar. Um, it doesn't say in this article what they're doing, but um, they do have like a a, a nine ninety nine meal at Applebee's with a burger, fries, mm. you know, and and a drink. Interesting. That is smart. smart. That is smart. Yeah, is why smart. go to fast food when you go to Chili's and relax, sit mm-hmm. in a chair? I mean, I get it. Not everyone has time to sit down for a sit down meal. You know what I mean? And it's fast food, but it's fast at food. The same time, but if you have the time, there's no. At that point, there's no reason to go to McDonald's or anything, any of them anymore. Yeah, I'd go to you Chili's. Know? I'd go to Chili's or Applebee's before McDonald's for sure. Mm-hmm. I mean, I'm not a McDonald's fan anymore. Yeah, they gotten they've gotten super expensive. I go to Culver's. Mm-hmm. Culver's is nice. Well, yeah, yeah. if I'm going to spend that kind of money on a burger, mm-hmm. I'm going to get a good burger. Yeah, I, I agree. I'm going to get a good burger. I agree. Five fat guys. Oh, five fat guys is pretty quick, and it's su- it's so much better. 
I wish I had a five get fat guys near me. I do. Oh. <laughs> I don't. Yeah, that's true. You don't down there. Oh, do <laughs> Rachel. Rachel on TikTok. No, I'm commenting back. No Taco Bell. <laughs> I'm commenting back. I'm typing it out. No Taco Bell. No said, Taco Bell. She said, what about Taco Bell's throwback menu items coming back? The throwback. Oh, that's true. The throw I up. Did see that. The throw up menu items. Yeah. No, they, do they that. are coming back with some throwback stuff. Yeah, yeah, yeah. but it's still going to be overpriced cat meat. Probably. Yeah. It's not like it was. And, you know, I remember when the Cheesy Gordita Crunch first came out, it was like $1.50. dollar fifty. Ooh, Mexi Melts and Caramel Apple el- Empanadas. Okay. I still won't go there. Yeah. you got to tell me how yeah. what it's like because I'm not going to go. Nope. Not going. No. Mm-hmm. No Taco Bell. Eh, eh, eh. That, does sound, that does sound good. We'll see. We'll see. We'll see what happens. Do you want to lose your position as co-host on this podcast? <laughs> you go to Taco Bell just once. I'm just joking. You can eat whatever the hell you want. I don't care. I'm not eating Taco Bell. Nope. No, I know. They, 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 they've, they've long burned that bridge. Yeah. Uh. <laughs> also, I see Rachel is a Taco Bell fan because she's saying she's typing out the menu to us. The Beef is Gordita really? Supreme. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, uh-huh. Yeah, yeah. Well, I, I, uh, she might like just like Mexican food. Um. Yeah, Just well, in go to a Mexican restaurant. There's plenty of them here in Florida. There, there are so many. So many. There's like 20 within a five-mile radius of yes. me. Listen, I don't care what restaurant you go to. Everything's cooked by a Mexican. Yeah, this is pretty true. I mean, really? You go look at your local, your local places. You know what I mean? It's usually a Latino in the back. And I'm not knocking, you know, the... Yeah, yeah, I'm yeah. not knocking it. It's a profession. They're hardworking mm-hmm. people, but it's usually a Latino cooking in the back. Say, say you go to a poke bowl place that also has a hibachi grill. Yep. You know, you, you're talking to the people, uh, and then all of a sudden they start speaking Tagalog. Yeah. And so then you realize, oh, hey, wait a minute, Tagalog. Those are Filipinos, my brother. They're the Hispanics of the Asian community. Exactly. So I mean, <laughs> yes. And those are delicious girl cook. Girl, Scout, Girl Scout cookies too. Girl, Girl, Girl Kid Scout. Scout. Yeah, I Girl can't Scout. talk, dude. Come on, it's been a long day. <laughs> well, who do you think cooked my lobster up in New England? Uh, probably. Yep. My boy, the Josue. Yeah. Um. Yeah, Jose Lobster Man. Yeah. Mm-hmm. It's okay, delicious. Mm-hmm. But if you, I mean, and I'm not like I said, I'm not knocking, I'm not being racial, but that's the profession that most of them go into. Cooking, yeah. Cooking, which mm-hmm. is nothing wrong with that. And no. they make delicious meals. Ain't nothing wrong with that. But they All are hardworking people, get, people you, know, you know. Get excited about that kind of thing. Absolutely. It's a job. Yes. Ugh, I'm telling you. Mm-hmm. So, no, no Taco Bell, Rachel. I'm watching you, Noah. <laughs> Because Rachel's going to go, hey, Noah, let's have Taco Bell for dinner. And you're going to be like, okay. <laughs> you, can't, you can't trick me with the Baja Blast anymore. I can get that at the store now. <laughs> right? Yes. Oh, I'm telling you. Hang tight. We'll be right back. We're just mixing up a new cocktail and getting ready for our next segment. Because, you know, we need a new beverage. Hang tight. Stick with us. Tiki Talk, the podcast, will be back in just a moment. Calling all coffee lovers, Tiki Talk, the podcast is proud to bring you Aroma Ridge Coffee Roasters. Yes, from rare to specialty to flavored to rum cakes to teas, Aroma Ridge has it all. Use my code SHIPNUT, save yourself 10%. Go to shipnut.net or aromaridge.com and get yours today. Cheers. All right. Have you been to shipnut.net yet? Oh, my God. You're missing out from cocktail recipes, blog posts, merch shop. Anything you need is right there at shipnut.net. Guys, 
go there check it out the tiki talk the podcast is there a whole page dedicated to tiki talk go check it out shipnut.net cheers funny but you know what's funny did you ever hear of the doomsday fish the doomsday fish Mm -hmm. uh i forgot the name of it of the real the real name of it but it is a long fish yeah um and it it comes up during natural like whenever a disaster happens you see yes. you see them floating to the surface yes it's an oar fish that's what it's called or fish. Or fish it's a, it's rare it's rare to see an oar fish mm-hmm. um but one has washed up in california not washed up but some kayakers found one in california oh. yeah floating on the top of the water they can grow up to 36 feet long. Oh my God. Yeah. Man, I didn't. I know they're deep sea fish. Yeah, they're usually about know... 3,000 feet deep. Wow. That, yeah, that, that is a deep sea fish. <laughs> yes. But they usually come to the top for a natural disaster. That's when they're seen. Mm-hmm. Like right after a disaster or right before. This one was found two days before the earthquake in California. That's crazy. This one was found two days before the 4.4 earthquake in California. Mm-hmm. Now, call it coincidence. I mean, I don't know. What do you think? I don't know either. I, I just, because, uh, I mean, especially when you talk about California, you know, my mother actually used to live over there when she was still working for the federal government. Yeah. And, um, she told me that, uh, you know, hur- uh, hurricanes, uh, she told me earthquakes happen almost daily. Well, they do. Yeah. They're, they're probably small. They're probably like one or two yeah. or threes, you know. I don't really know. My only experience with a, with an earthquake really uh, is in when I still, when I lived in Virginia and that earthquake happened that like damaged the Washington Monument, and well, that, yeah, that yeah, was yeah, like, yeah. I think that was like 2009, 2010, and it damaged quite quite a bit of DC. I remember I was on top of a, of a four story building and I felt the building shake. Oh, yeah, <laughs> yeah, no, no, I'm, uh, um, I've never really lived through earthquake. I don't know what it's like. I really don't. Um, I know it can do a lot of destruction in a short period yeah. of time you know i mean i've lived through category five hurricanes mm-hmm. yeah you know we both have yeah so true. i mean but earthquakes is not my forte yeah no but, they they happen in puerto rico a lot too but they they're on the they're along like like uh ponce towards mayaguez they're on the the southern west to west coast yep you don't really feel that on the east coast unless it's like a really big one on um, now speaking of puerto rico is everybody okay there from the hurricane just went through so uh oddly enough one of my sisters is down there yeah. uh, uh she actually lives in new jersey but i think she was visiting my dad yeah and uh <clears throat> excuse me and uh she's um she is in Fajardo, which yeah. is on the east coast and she took some pictures. She posted them on Facebook. Uh, there was like a bunch of trees down on power lines. And, yeah. Uh, but my all, okay. everybody's okay. Yeah. Okay. That's just making sure everybody's mm-hmm. okay. You know what I mean? Yeah, absolutely. Because I know you got peeps down there. You know, you got family. Yeah, sure. So just making yeah. sure everybody's okay. All right. As long as they didn't see an oar fish, everything's good. Yeah, right. <laughs> Every, as long as they didn't see an oar fish. No oar fish. But no oar fish. But yeah, because that was a not Debbie. That wasn't Hurricane Debbie, but that was the last hurricane. Well, the one that's still out there now. Mm-hmm. Um, I don't yeah, know I don't the know name of it. I, I forget. It's it's out there somewhere. But speak of Hurricane Debbie, mm-hmm. did you know it blew a million dollars worth of cocaine onto a Florida Keys uh, beach? Hell yeah, let's party! Right, <laughs> Ernesto. Thank you, Rachel. Thank you, Ernesto. Ernesto. The hurricane, it's, it's, it's actually a hurricane now, huh? Yeah. Yeah, we're not getting it, but... Um, yeah, so the cartel has now been... Well, they've been doing it for a long time. Anchoring 
bales of cocaine off in the water, like underneath the water. Wow. And the Seriously? hurricane, yeah, knocked this loose, and it floated into a Florida Keys beach. Oh, yeah. I'm sure they're pissed. Yep. Yeah, so somebody found it. It was 25 packages of cocaine, 70 pounds, and they wow. reported it to the uh, the authorities. Uh, here it is. Here, show you. There it is. Hurricane Debbie blew 25 packages of cocaine. Street value of a million dollars. Right? I'm telling you. Man. Right? They, and they anchor them below the ocean to smuggle. That's crazy. Yeah, they anchor them below the ocean. Like the last one was found 100 feet underneath the water. Wow, that's deep. That's deep, yeah. But they, Very they chain them down and let them float. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So you can't visually see it with your eyes. But they give the smugglers give them the the GPS coordinates and mm. guess what? They go out down, it. dive down, grab it on the boat, and off they go. Believe Interesting. that? Interesting. Be do you believe that? That's just crazy. That's what they do. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have to ask. Uh, actually, I'm oddly enough, I'm gonna ask that. I'm gonna have to ask my mother about that because she. Her federal her yeah. federal job was federal law enforcement for customs and border protection. <laughs> yep. Yeah. So, so they the find person. them. They find them yeah. underneath the water. Yeah. That's earlier crazy. the earlier in the month, divers found twenty five kilograms of cocaine a hundred feet underwater off of Key West. Wow. So now here's the thing. What about what about the wildlife? What about the wildlife out there with all that coke in the water? <laughs> oh no! I mean, we've we've heard of cocaine bear, right? Yeah. <laughs> what about cocaine shark? Oh yes, yes. I can see it now. Cocaine <laughs> <It's a> movie. <laughs> Rachel, that's how Sharknado starts. <laughs> okay. Nice. Sharks off of Brazil test. Mm -hmm. Positive for cocaine. Okay. Nice. So, one of the most feared creatures on Earth is a shark. Yeah, yeah. So, you're going to get that thing all hopped up on blow? Are you Amen. kidding me? <laughs> Ain't nothing but a party. I mean, <laughs> come on now. A shark all hopped up on blow. Oh, well, I mean, researchers have been thinking about this for a long time. And, mm. you know, because they know what the smugglers do. I mean, besides yeah. the um, the submarines that they use and the boats, you or know, the plane. or the planes. Like, they're walking, you know, they're on a boat, Coast Guard's behind them. What do they do? Dump the coke. There you go. So they don't get, you know what I mean? Just dump it. And it's fl found everywhere around Florida, South America, all that area. So a bunch of researchers um, in Brazil, you know, paid some fishermen for the sharks. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. and, te and they all, they tested 13 Brazilian sharp-nosed sharks. <laughs> and these are small ones. I'm going to show you what this show. That, that, that's a small one. Oh, they're, they're, they're itty bitty. That one is. But oh. what about Mama Shark? You know, because oh, that's baby point. shark. Do, 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 do. Do, 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 baby. Yeah. Yep. Yeah, yep. Yeah, yeah. No, I get you. What about <laughs> Mommy Shark or Daddy I'm more, Shark? I'm more afraid of Grandpa Shark. Yeah, Grandpa uh, Shark that still has teeth. Dentures. Yeah. But all 13 of them tested positive for cocaine. That's just bananas. Isn't that crazy? Yeah, that is very crazy. What do you What do you think? I think. Oh my god! Oh, here we I go. Wait a minute. TikTok has restricted our live stream because it might be uncomfortable for some people. Oh, TikTok is getting ridiculous. Oh, TikTok. I'm telling you, because we're talking oh, about cocaine shark. Probably. Yeah. Whatever. Uh, Whatever. By restricted, 
I, th- that means that uh, you ha- you have to say, are you 18 or whatever? Yeah, or yeah, I know. So I know. Watching this uh, I know. Whatever. It's dumb. Yeah, I know. We're family friendly. We're okay. Yeah. We're just we talking talk news. About- We're talking news. Sho- what do we do? We- it's news. Yeah. We talk about shoving meat-filled wieners in our lowest holes in our faces. Mm. So, I mean, you know. Oh, yeah. Uh-huh. <laughs> yeah. Uh-huh. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. That we do. So, mm-hmm. yeah, cocaine shark. I would be, I'm just telling you. I mean, that, that'd be scary to see cocaine shark. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that would be. That's just bananas. Uh, hold I mean, on. I found out. Oh. Okay. So, so I just, <laughs> um, I just, uh, I just found out how big these brazilian sharks can get oh how big 30 inches all right so they are small yeah they are small but that is still a pretty sizable out that'll take a hand They'll yeah see you and be all like well Ooh. well what about tiger shark a, that might have ate a bale of cocaine it might have that's you know what i'm saying um that's I, I would not want to be in the water. See that a, bale of cocaine bobbing a hundred feet yeah. deep. Oh, what's this? Especially, Bing. especially great whites. Great whites are known for yep. taking chunks out of things. Not necessarily trying to attack humans or anything like that. They they're just always hungry, and so well that's how they, it, they, they they test things. Yeah, that's how they test it. Yeah, they take a bite. Like most and, shark uh, attacks, mm-hmm. is a shark. Seeing if you're food or not. Right. But a shark is so powerful that mm-hmm. it's usually devastating if you get oh, attacked yeah, by a shark. Can be. Yeah, it's not that they want to eat you, mm-hmm. but they see a shiny thing floating in the water like a watch or something. Yeah. And they're like, ooh, a fish. fish. Chomp. Mm-hmm. There goes your hand. Mm-hmm. And they spit it out saying, that's the nastiest food I've ever eaten. Yeah. They you know really what I'm saying? Be doing that. Yeah. For sure. But did you know last June, last year, the Coast Guard seized 14,000 pounds of cocaine in the Caribbean? I don't doubt it. 14,000 pounds of cocaine. Yep. So no wonder why these sharks are all hopped up on blow. Yeah. I'm telling right? you. Watch telling out for you. the Makos. Yeah, right? Mako Shark all <laughs> hopped up on blow. Oh. oh. Well. Or the Barracudas. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah, those toothy sons of bitches. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Speaking of all hopped up, do you think it's time? I think it's time. You think it's time? Yeah, why not? We're going to get all hopped up on something here, too, mm-hmm. on the podcast. Look at Look what we got. Noah, ready? Yeah, oh, yeah. Caramel bugles. Huh? Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. These have to taste good. They I would hope to. so. I mean, they are bugles. It's just, they are bugles. Okay, so let me tell you. Anyone that knows a snack company that wants their stuff reviewed, send them our way. Get, oh, yeah. get this portion out. To a snack company that wants their stuff reviewed live on our podcast. Because we're looking for we everything. Are. So. Yeah. All right. So these have to taste good. I sure hope so. All right. Sweet and salty. Sweet and salty. Don't read the bag. I mean, I like bugles anyway. I like the nacho cheese ones. Oh, yeah. Those are oh, good. Oh, yeah. Oh, you already opened it. Wait a minute. They smell good. Oh, yeah. They smell really good. Let's see. Okay. All right, you ready for this? Let's go. All right, got one. Mm, what they this? are covered in caramel. Yeah, but I would think they would fill it with caramel. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. I was thinking it's going to be filled with caramel. All right, let's go. Dude, come on. 
<laughs> yep. Um. Weird, weird, corny aftertaste. Yeah. I mean, the first bite is phenomenal. Mm -hmm. You know what they remind me of? You don't really see it too many, too much more in the stores. Cracker Jacks. Right? Yeah. Without the little tattoo. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right. Dude, these are amazing, though. A little tough to chew, but they are pretty good. What? Well, here's my problem. Look at the bag. Doesn't that look like it's filled with caramel? Right. I was waiting for like a gooey center. But there's not. It's just covered no. with caramel. Well, mm -hmm. I mean, I can't picture someone just injecting every bugle with a thing of caramel. I mean, I, guess not. I get it. But it still would be good. Oh, look. This one, this one just got loaded. Mm-hmm. Okay. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. They're pretty good. They're not bad. Not bad. I was also expecting a more salt to your face. Yeah. I'm gonna be honest with you. It needs, <laughs> it needs a little more salt. Mm -hmm. All right, what's the rating? Um, seven and a half out of ten, I think. Yeah, I was gonna go seven three. Mm -hmm. I was going seven three. Mm -hmm. I mean, really good. So much more potential could be had with these. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Like <laughs> a nice crunch with a gooey center. Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. That would be it. Oh, yeah. I mean, it's sticking to my teeth. Yeah. All right, I better set these down before I eat the rest of them. Oh, I'm going to eat them later. <laughs> but, yeah, not bad. We're, we're good. Not too bad. I'm all right. Give it a try, guys. Let us know what you think. Yeah, when you guys try them, let us know. Let us know. Hey, we're nice guys. We interact with you back. Mm-hmm. Oh, yeah. But, yeah, 7-3. Seven, 7-3. Three. Seven, three. Mm -hmm. Nothing more. <clears throat> Nothing more than 7-3. What do you think? Think we're right? You did 7.5. We're hovering around the same part. Yeah. Um, I'm definitely going to eat them before my wife gets home. Okay. <laughs> All right. Yeah. Well, she knows you're going to eat them. You're not even going to say everyone want to try? I'm trying to think of what would be funnier. Well, nah. you, you know what's funny? That bag was $4 at Circle yeah, it K. Yeah, pretty expensive. Four bucks for a little trial bag at Circle K. I mean, that was pretty expensive. Yeah. yeah. Four bucks. It was. It was. But here, here we go. Now that we're eating tasty snacks, Noah. This one's right up your alley. All right. <clears throat> Canadian power lifter mm -hmm. was caught doing something before her meet. What you doing? Drinking maple syrup. <laughs> Just for you, sir. Oh, my gosh. She was drinking maple syrup. Yep. And she's Canadian. And she's, she's Canadian. Canadian. Yes. What better thing to do as a Canadian than to drink maple syrup before me she was sipping on it before she won a silver medal? <laughs> right? Nice. Okay, question. Mm -hmm. What Go was in it. that maple syrup? 
Hey, bud, don't you worry about that now, okay? Hey? Hey, that's right there, bud. All right, uh, hold on. Rachel says that you owe her some bugles. Um, request denied. Moving on. <laughs> All right, Rachel, request denied. I just can't help you out there anymore. Just saying. I mean, what would you do? Drinking maple syrup mm. before you win a silver medal in the Olympics. Um, praise be the power of maple syrup there, bud. <laughs> I wonder if, like, the sugar content of the maple syrup gives you a little more boost. Like a boost? Yeah, Maybe. like a boost. I mean, it's not like a, it's not like an altering drug, but just like that, no. that rush of sugar before you lift or something. You know what I mean? Oh, yeah. No, I get it. Sorry, my hair is, like, acting real crazy right now. But real, um, real maple syrup is much different than that store-bought shit. And Aunt Jemima? Yeah. I mean, mm -hmm. it's got more... Well, I don't know what if it's got more sugar content in it, but real yeah, maple syrup is absolutely delicious. Mm -hmm. So I wonder I wonder if the sugar gives you a little boost, you know, when yeah, you're... Yeah, maybe maybe something in it that's like, oh, yeah. You know what I mean? Give me a little boost of energy. Just a little, just a little... Mm -hmm. Just a little zip. Oh, those Canadians. Them damn Canucks. Well, congratulations on your silver medal. And yeah, I, really. You know, I thought it was a fun little story for you, Noah, seeing that you're a maple syrup fan. The power and benefits of the maple syrup there, bud. Well, I was still waiting for your maple syrup video. Oh, that, 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 I don't know if anybody really wants to see that. That's it. I was still <laughs> waiting for Noah's maple syrup video. That was not pleasant. All right. We Hang tight. We'll be right back. We're just mixing up a new cocktail and getting ready for our next segment. Because, you know, we need a new beverage. Hang tight. Stick with us. Tiki Talk, the podcast. We'll be back in just a moment. All right. Have you been to shipnut.net yet? Oh, my God. You're missing out from cocktail recipes, blog posts, merch shop. Anything you need is right there at shipnut.net. Guys, go there, check it out. The Tiki Talk, the podcast is there. A whole page dedicated to Tiki Talk. Go check it out, shipnut.net. Cheers. Calling all coffee lovers. Tiki Talk, the podcast is proud to bring you Aroma Ridge Coffee Roasters. Yes, from rare to specialty to flavored to rum cakes to teas, Aroma Ridge has it all. Use my code SHIPNUT. Save yourself 10%. Go to shipnut.net or aromaridge.com and get yours today. Cheers. Have you guys been to cwspirits.com yet? Well, let me tell you something. Go to cwspirits.com. They got everything you need to up your spirits game. Use my code TIKI55 and you'll save yourself 5%. And all orders over $125. It's free shipping. Go visit cwspirits.com and use my code TIKI55. Cheers. We got one more. We got one more story today, Noah. Okay. We're running a little long, so here we go. I'm ready. You have a dog, right? You have a dog? Yeah. yeah. I got two. Sure. I got two dogs. Mm -hmm. What do you think about a new Dolce? in Gabbana dog perfume. Specifically by Dolce and Gabbana? Yeah. 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 Dolce and Gabbana. <laughs> no. Dolce and Gabbana launches luxury dog perfume. You're fucking kidding me. Nope. nope. Wow. Nope. What? It's alcohol free and it's called Fifi or Fefe. 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 It's called F E F E with a little chicka over the E. Fefe. Fefe. Yeah. Fefe. 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 For dogs. Fefe. Fefe. For er, your. Er toilet. <laughs> oh, the. Oh, the toilet. Yes. Oh, oh the puppy. Yes. Oh, the pee, pee Yes. 
if my dog Italian. stinks, I give it a bath. And that's right. I mean, when I start smelling Fritos on my dog's feet. Oh, no, not you too. What? Oh, my God. My, my wife is obsessed with the fact that dog's feet smells like corn chips. Yes. Okay. All right. Everybody she- comment if you're. If you if you're in agreement, if your dog's feet smells like Fritos, she she's just like oh, it smells just like corn chips, and she grabs his, his paws. This this dog, he's just lying on his side, like, and just grab. Uh, corn yes, chips. dog's <laughs> feet smell like Fritos. She is going to beat me up when she gets home, but that is true. She <laughs> says yes, it does. It's proven. It's, but why? Why do you guys compare it to corn chips? I, what, Have you smelt your dog's feet? No, I'm a normal person. I don't just go and <laughs> get your little doggy and give his feet a little sniff. He, he's not that little. He's well, he's I know, like but sixty pounds. Yeah, but lay next to him and give his little feet a sniff. I mean, yeah, yeah. <laughs> corn chips, Fritos. Huh. Yep, 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 yep. Uh huh. Yeah, Dolce and Cabana. I'm sure it's going to be expensive. Oh hell yeah, Dolce and Cabana. I can't. I can't. I mean, all the rich like Miss Peaches will probably have Dolce and Cabana. Oh no! Again, you you too with Miss Peaches. Well, my wife follows Miss Peaches. Well, listen, <laughs> Dave Portnoy. Is absolutely spoiling that dog, which oh, yeah. is awesome. Because you know what? I'm going to give him credit. He has raised so much money for animal mm-hmm. shelters. He has absolutely with Miss really Peaches, has. and he is definitely spoiling that dog. Mm-hmm. I mean, it's she has gone viral, Miss Peaches. Mm-hmm. But I guarantee you that before they go out. He's Miss Peaches sticks. is gonna have a little fefe. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Fefe. A little fefe. I wonder if it smells like Fritos. <laughs> we should buy we gotta find out. We should buy some. Hold on, I gotta Google this. I gotta see. I gotta see. Hold on. This is fe fe fe. Are you Googling it? Let's see. Yeah. Uh-huh. Dolce and Gabbana. Musk and sandalwood. That must be for the male dogs. What about the females? That's a good question. I got their website. What do you got? Um, I Oh, I have to find a store near me to see if they sell it. Oh, come on. I wonder how much it is. Let me look. I'm gonna look it up too. Mm-hmm. Okay, because this is I gotta find this stuff. I gotta. We have. To, we must know. We must know. All right. Let's see. Beefy. Oh damn! Oh, you found it? Oh yeah. Oh yeah. All right. Here you go. Ready? I'm ready. Hundred bucks. Ninety nine dollars. Hundred bucks for ninety nine dollars. Is, is it is it a eau de toilette or is it a parfuma or what? Dude, are you kidding me? That's Details. crazy. Approved by vets, but a lot of vets said no. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah. Key ingredients ylang ylang, warm and cold, musk and sandalwood. It's all essential oil. That's all it is. It's all it's it's essential oil. That's I can make that. I can go on like I can go to any essential oil place, mix them all together, and Mm -hmm. put it in a right a Zep spray bottle and spray my dog, (laughs) and I got Dolce and Gabbana (laughs) Fefe. Zep spray bottle. 
Yeah. <laughs> I mean. Oh man. A uh, hundred That's bucks. No. Nope. A hundred bucks nope. for how nope. many ounces is it even? Dude, three ounce. Oh. Three point three. Three ounces. Three point three. A hundred dollars. Well, it's oh my gosh! It's Dolce and Gabanza. Mm-hmm. I I know I sell Gabana wrong, but whatever. I mean, it's Gabonzo beans. Just telling you, it's crazy. Dog perfume, a hundred bucks. Hundred bucks. But what about this one? It's got perfume. Look at this one. Amazon. Up oh, eleven dollars and eighty cents. Let's get this one. There we go. Beautiful. Right Done. Perfume. A grooming finishing spray. Four ounces here. What's it got? Let's see. Lavender. Mm-hmm. Oh, a sweet and fruity cocktail of fresh melon, pear, and raspberry. With okay. musk, amber, white lily. What are you going to get? Are you going to get the perfume? Or the Dolce. Hell yeah. 11 bucks. I Let's ain't go. getting none of it. Oh, yeah? Just the bath. Just a bath. Yeah. That's pretty much all they need. That's all they need is a bath. You don't need anything else. No, they don't. You know. Just put them but in But if bath. I had to choose, it would be it would definitely be the $11. Well, you know, I it, do have... My head. I do have a lavender waterless shampoo for the dogs waterless shampoo yeah it's like a foam you just rub it into their coat and it mm. makes them smell a little better like in between bath i got you or if they go in the pool and they get that wet yeah. dog smell it's a, okay so it's like a dry shampoo thing yeah yeah yeah, yeah. so it just okay. kind of gives them a little better smell i mean whatever mm. so just saying i don't know listen just, I can't. A hundred bucks on three ounces of dog perfume. I can't justify that either. No, that's just, that's I'd rather crazy. smell Fritos. Yes, yeah. <laughs> I'd rather smell Fritos. I'm telling you. You <laughs> and onion dip. I'm all right. On onion? Where are you selling the onion dip? I don't know. I just made that up. <laughs> oh, okay. I was about to say. Oh my god. Oh, damn it. Well, listen. That's all I got today. That's all I got. Yeah. You want to do one more? Yeah, why not? One more. We kind of, they kind of went over the top here. Let's go. Let's go. Mm-hmm. You like chicken? Um, yes. Are you a chicken wing kind of person? Yeah, I, lo- I, I like chicken wings a lot, actually. Yeah. yeah. How much do you like chicken wings? Um... If you had unlimited access to chicken wings, yeah, I would, I would get it. Yeah. Oh yeah. Like this school worker. Oh. Yeah, yeah. Oh, school worker. Mm, a school worker in Cook County. Uh, Cook County. No, she was in Harvey School District. I mean, it got to be in like Chicago or something, right? Yeah, Somewhere Cook Cook County is in Chicago. Unless okay. there's yeah, another yeah, one, yeah. Illinoisy. Yep. She was charged with stealing one point five million dollars of chicken wings what? from the school district. From the school. One point five million dollars of chicken wings. One point five a million dollars of chicken wings. More than she ordered more than eleven thousand cases of chicken wings. Eleven thousand cases. She and picked them up in the district cargo van. Nice. She's Are clever. you kidding me? She's clever, man. First of all, who, what, what fancy school out there is serving chicken wings for, for school lunches? Right. Let's, let's get that. Let's let's answer that question. Yeah. Right off the. I right never now. had chicken wings for school. 
Neither have I. You I've know? had bad milk. I've had uh, peanut butter and jelly, pizza, chicken, peanut butter pizza. Yeah. Oh, yeah. turkey gravy and mashed tater day. That was my favorite. I did. I did have that. Like the the little one. turkey medallions. With, yeah, in the, the gravy. The fake yeah, and a fake the turkey. Fake turkey oh yeah, with the instant taters and the yeah yeah. I did have that. I did have that once. Yep. Um, chicken wings. Chicken wings. Never had. Never had chicken wings. Nope. What I we gotta go to Cook County and and yeah. pretend to be like right. some high school students or something. You know. Yep. Not much. We'll get, not we'll much to the story. There's really yeah. not. It just says that she was charged with one point nine, one point five million dollars worth of chicken. Got a nine year sentence oh. for stealing chicken wings. Chicken wings. Granted, one point five million is one hell of a larceny. Did she have chicken wings? Did she have like a chicken wing business on the side? Oh, that's a good point. It doesn't say. Mm-hmm. If anybody knows, please chime in. Um, yeah, you're from if you're from Cook County, insert state here. Yeah, uh, uh, then right. Let us know. Let me if know, you know about what's going on here. If you went to Vera Liddell's Chicken Shack, that's her name, Vera Liddell. Vera Liddell. Yep. Vera Liddell. Yep. That yep. is a name too. That is a name that screams, "I have chicken wings." Yeah. Vera's uh, vicious chicken. Oh, oh. Oh, Vera's vicious chicken. I like it. What do you think? Vera Ladang's chicken wings. Dang. I like it. Yeah. Yeah. I like it. $1.5 million of chicken wings. Stolen chicken wings. Does it say how long it took her to get that much or was it? No, no. Or... One order. One, one order. order. It was one order. And she didn't think she'd get caught. You know. Court records accuse Liddell of ordering more than. 11,000 cases of chicken wings That's just from the food provider and then picking the order up in the district cargo van. That's a lot of trips to get chicken wings. Yeah. Yeah, it really is. I mean, just saying. Mm-hmm. That's a lot of chicken wing trips. It's a lot of dead chickens, if you really think about it's it. It's a lot of dead chickens. but I Because mean, you only have four wings per chicken. Like four pieces of wing for, per chicken. I was gonna say, what kind of chickens you, you eating? Four wings. What kind of chickens four. are you eating to have four wings? You have the you have the drumettes and the flaps. Yeah. Right? So there's only there's only you know one two three four. Yes. So that's that's a lot of dead chickens. <laughs> a lot of dead chickens. Yes, I agree. Like that's a huge amount of dead chickens. I agree. Uh, but that, it's not. Dude, you're eating some alien chickens if your chickens have four wings. <laughs> if they have four wings. Yeah, don't, don't you guys have four wings on your chickens? I mean... They, they, there's there's the butt wings and the chest wings. I'm sure they can draw that up in a lab somewhere, the four-winged chicken. Mm-hmm. You know. They probably could. I mean, they already got else. lab-grown chicken. Mm-hmm. Which, nope. I'm not going to eat that. No. Nope. Nope. Not doing it. Not doing it. Well. What? You're going to eat lab-grown chicken? I would try it. You would? Mm -hmm. Because they say, you know, I mean, think about it. Think about it, right? Because here here we are. No. Hear me out. Hear me out, right? No. uh, Hold on. Let me get my glasses out for this. Um, In the Star Trek universe, they have something called replicator technology. Where they replicate uh, 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 meat dishes or any kind of dishes in general in order to feast upon it, seemingly out of thin air for reorganized molecules, hence ending the world hunger crisis. And so I try it, you know, just 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 to see. And George <laughs> Jetson used to put a pill in a microwave, and boom, chicken, good. That's true, he did. I mean, he, he did. Same concept, I guess. I guess, but nope. Nope, not for me. Uh uh-uh. uh. I'm sure. I, I actually remember when they first came out with lab grown beef and it was like super expensive. No, no, nope, not for me. Mm. Not for me. No, no, I'm good. No, I'm good. I'm good. I like my own little cluck cluck. You like, you like your cluck cluck? 
lived a good life, chop off its beak. That's and right. Yep. There you go. Stuff it full of bread. Yep. yep. Cook it in the oven. Here, Charlie Chicken. Come here, little chick chick. <laughs> Charlie Chicken. Dinner time. Oh. Uh, speaking of chicken places, you ever heard of Huey Magoo's? No. So Huey Magoo's, right? Okay. Is amazing. Uh, I thought they were only in Orlando. It's a chicken place. Really? Chicken te- oh, yeah. Chicken tenders. They have like seven, eight, nine chicken tender pl- uh, platters. Okay. Um, Continue. And they, they yeah, oh, yeah. And, and they have their own Magoo sauce. They call it Magoo sauce. Magoo. Mis- and, like, uh, like Mr. Magoo? It's spelled like Mr. Magoo, yeah. And I thought it was only in Orlando. They have one here where I live. They ain't got one down here. I know. Well, I I thought they, like I said, I thought they were only in Orlando, but they have a blue lemonade too, and it's amazing. It's a homemade blue lemonade. Really? It's great. Really? Homemade banana pudding. Just all, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's amazing. Huey Magoo's. Right? Yeah, man. Yeah. H U W E Y. Oh, look at Boom. Comes right up. Mm-hmm. Huey Magoo's Chicken Tenders in Pinellas Park. Oh, they're in Pinellas Park. Oh, yeah. Oh, that's a little bit closer for you. Huey Magoo's Chicken Tenders. Okay. It is a chain. Mm-hmm. Open it. Wow. Okay, let's see. Locations. Huey Magoo's. Look at Here we go. Huey Magoo's. Oh, oh they're, they're everywhere. everywhere. Oh, they are. They do exist. All right. All righty. Is that, Is that the closest, closest one, one to you? you? No, no, no. I saw one. Uh, Pinellas, Odessa, Brooksville. That's you. Hold on, I'm looking. Yeah, right around there. All right, let's right see. Right around there. All right, hold on. Let's see. Cape Coral. Ooh, that's not far. That's not too bad. Ooh. Cape Coral. Huey Magoo's. Huey Magoo's. Let's see. Menu. I got to look at the menu now. You, you've intrigued me, Noah. I, hey, man. You've intrigued I, me. This is, this is what I'm here for. I would go with the seven-piece meal. I mean. Big boy. Huh? Big boy. I mean, three is not enough. No. Five is almost there. Mm -hmm. Seven Mm -hmm. pieces, you get the right spot. The Magoo sandwich. Yeah, they got sandwiches, too. The Magoo wrap. Oh. It does it taste like Chick Fil A? No, no, better than Chick Fil A. Yeah. All right. I'm gonna have to go there. Oh, homemade dip, the Magoo sauce, the spicy mm-hmm. Magoo. Yeah. And the ranch. Yeah, their ranch is homemade too. Crinkle cut fries, cheese dip. Mm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, they have a cheese dip. Craft drinks, watermelon iced tea. Watermelon iced tea. They also have the blue lemonade. They, they call it the electric blue lemonade. Ooh, I might have to go to Cape Coral. That might happen tomorrow. That might happen tomorrow. That might happen. All right. So everybody watching, Huey Magoo's is in Alabama, Florida, Georgia, Kentucky, Mississippi, Missouri, Nevada. North Carolina, Ohio, South Carolina, Tennessee, and West Virginia. Huey Magoo's. I'm going to check them out. Thank you for that. You're very welcome. Oh, Rachel said it's like PDQ. Okay. I think it's a little bit better than PDQ. Okay. But PDQ is good. Yeah. PDQ is really good. Looks like I got to go to Huey Magoo's. I gotta see where they're at in Missouri. Well, you know, that's all you. 
yeah, yeah that I must know for the next time we go. Yeah, right. <clears throat> Fantastic. What a good show. Yes, sir. What a good show. Now, we were supposed to have guests on our show today. Mm. Yeah. Um, unfortunately, they, we had to reschedule. So we're, we're working on getting them on the next show. Okay. Um, they weren't going to be in an area where they had any cell coverage mm -hmm. to connect to the show. So I get it. I get it. Yeah, yeah, because no, they, they were on the road. Yeah, they're on the road. Because they're doing adventures on their motorcycle. So, the adventures of Todd and Amy. Go check them out um, on Facebook, YouTube, TikTok, Instagram. The adventures of Todd and Amy. They Their mission is to get to every state on the motorcycle. Yeah, which is a tough one. Yeah, which they got that some cool... They got some really good videos. They're they're entertaining. Um, they and they share their adventures with you, which is great. So I can't wait to get them on the show. So we're working on rescheduling that. So that's coming up. So that's a good thing. And then uh, we got other things in the works. So just saying. Yeah. Right. Oh yeah. Raw yeah. Huey I Magoo's. Am excited. Well. Let's practice our break dancing for the next show there, Noah. <laughs> to the to the hustle? Yeah, let's do to it. To the hustle. Yeah. To the hustle. Mm. Oh yeah. To the hustle. Mm -hmm. And we're gonna see what we're gonna eat. Well, we're gonna taste test on the next show. Oh yeah. We got some things in the works there, don't worry. Yeah, you you gonna see. If we can find it. If yeah, we gotta find it first. Now those of you that are watching, please comment on anything you would like us to taste test. Mm, if you find anything if we weird find out it, there in the wild. If you find it weird out in the wild, let us know about it, and we can go check it out. And we will taste yeah, test it live on our little podcast here for you all to enjoy. Right? Oh, hell yeah. All right. Well, no, that's it. Until next time, sir. You got it. What a great show. All right, man. We will see you next time. Guys, like, subscribe, share with your friends, everything. And we might have a little giveaway coming up. Yeah. Prizes. I'm working on a prize. So watch our social media for the giveaway. It's going to be a good go. one. We're working with my sponsor right now mm -hmm. to do a little giveaway. So, a little. Stay tuned. A little coffee action. Yeah. Good coffee. Yeah. Really so good. we got that coming. Watch social media. Like, subscribe, and share. All right, guys. We will see you all next time. Cheers. See you guys next time. Cheers. Thanks for watching. Tiki Talk, the podcast. Remember to hit that subscribe, like, and share. Until next time.